insert head joke here. Hi, this is Jeremy with Craft Brewing. Uh, what I want to show you right now is the poor man's beer gun. Um, not that I'm, you know, averse to going out and spending crazy amounts of cash on some sweet, sexy beer guns, but what I have here is something I put together for a few dollars and it works not too bad at all. So um, basically what I did is I took a racking cane, well, I don't know, 12, 14 inches or so, and um, right from the bottom, instead of just leaving it flat, I went and cut it on about a 45 degree angle. And the reason behind that is when you're filling your beer, if you push this straight down, depending on where it might actually hit in the bottle, if it's flat, it's just going to get all gummed up. The beer is not going to flow out nicely. Whereas if it's like this, the beer can just come out and uh, be sweet and sexy in your bottle. Um, the next thing I did is I took a short section of uh, just rubber tubing. Um, just find something you probably have kicking around your brewery that will just slide nicely over this, fairly snug. And then I took a hose clamp, and the hose clamp just goes in there, probably a quarter inch uh, or a three-eighths inch hose clamp. Just something to get a nice tight fit on here, because this I never take this off. There's no need to. Um, I don't have beer flowing through this uh, for long enough that I really need to be too worried about it, and I can always just chuck this in with some PBW to clean it up, sanitize with star sand, and I'm good to go. The last component of this is just a rubber stopper. I don't remember the exact size of this because I've had it for years, but it's something that fits nicely into uh, a bottle like this, just your standard um, 330 mil uh, crown top bottle. It'll also fit nicely into just about any sort of a swing top bottle that you might have. It doesn't go in quite as far, however, it's still good enough to make a seal. The nice thing here is you want to be able to get uh, a tight seal on here that you can sort of adjust by uh, just pushing on the on the rubber stopper. All right, so now the la really the last step to doing this um, is simply attaching it onto a standard um, picnic cap like so. It just slides right on and uh, it'll fit nice and snugly around here. I'll actually show you what that looks like, but before I do it, uh, anytime I'm going to be doing some actual bottling, Give it a nice hefty blast of star sand through so it's all nice and coated. Uh, by the time I actually go to do this, it will have had its time to, uh, to make sure everything is nice and sanitary. I like to give a nice spray down on the outside because obviously that will also be in contact with the beer. Now, what you might be thinking is um, how do I sanitize behind the stopper? Easy, just do this. Get it on there, nice and lubed up. It's fantastic. Um, the other thing is now that this is able to slide freely on here, you can go uh, different heights of bottles, no problem. It'll just slip and slide along that shaft just how you want it to. Okay, so I take my trusty star sand, just give it a nice spray down here, make sure that everything's nice and clean. I'm going to uh, now go and slide that right into there, and you can see it's a nice snug fit. There's not going to be any beer trying to leak out of the top of that because it's, it's nice and tight. It's exactly how we want it to be. So, all right, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to show you uh, in a clear bottle sort of what it looks like. You'll notice that the stopper, of course, is able to uh, make a nice tight seal right around the top of this here. You've got the, um, the racking cane down on the bottom. You can see how it's got that 45 angle, so nothing's getting plugged. It'll make just a nice uh, clean flow into there. Now, the one thing I do like to do when I'm bottling is I find the first little bit coming out of the uh, poor man beer gun tends to be a little uh, a little foamy just the first little bit that'll happen right so I'm going to take this recently used beer glass I'm not going to say what was in it uh, nor am I going to drink from it but I'm just going to purge a little bit of what's in the line here and then I'm going to go ahead and fill up the bottle so you can see right off the bat there is a little bit of foam coming through the line, but get this in here. This beer's a little warmer than I would like it. However, once it gets going, the pressure helps reduce the amount of, hit, uh, of foam in the bottle. Now the trick, you'll see that it's, it's uh, built up too much pressure. If you go up here to the top of the stopper, the trick is to just use your fingers and slowly squeeze, you can hear the gas releasing. 
So you've seen it in action. Um, that is essentially how you build and use a poor man's beer gun. Resist the urge to just spray it directly into your mouth. Good luck.